Thanks for tuning in to another TriMic YouTube special. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about design studies and Pinewood Derby cars. My name is Jason Wedig. I work for TriMic Solutions out of their Columbia, Maryland office. Now you might be asking yourself, I don't design Pinewood Derby cars, therefore this video is not going to be important to me. It's not even going to apply to anything I do. Well, as engineers, we all have to do repetitive tasks. Sometimes they take a lot of trial and error. Well, in this particular study, I'm going to optimize the center of gravity of my car, and I'm going to use a design study to help aid me in that. I was talking with one of our clients, and he was expressing to me how, you know, how well his son had done in a Pinewood Derby car competition. His son had placed first, which is fantastic. But he gave me an idea. I have SolidWorks. I have all these awesome simulation tools. How about I use some of them to make the best Pinewood Derby car that ever existed? So that's what I set out to do. Now, I went online, I modeled up my car. If I do say so myself, I think it looks pretty awesome. Now, it's, looks aren't everything on Pinewood Derby cars though. One really key fundamental aspect is the location of the center of gravity. I want that to be 0.75 inches in front of the rear axle. Again, the internet is such a wonderful thing, it yielded that exact result for me as the best location. Now rather than me just placing the lead weight that I have inside my vehicle anywhere, I'm going to go ahead and use the optimization tool coupled with a design study to prove that for me. My lead weight is held in place with a distance mate from the front of the vehicle. I'm going to run that distance mate from 5 to 5.5 inches with a step interval of 0.025. I'm looking for an optimal CG location of 0.75 inches in front of the rear axle. So that's my goal. Upon running the study, it's going to go through 23 different iterations. Moving my lead weight backwards throughout my car is going to yield different locations of CG. The optimal location for CG is going to be displayed in the optimal location box. And it looks like scenario 16 yields an optimal location for me. If we put my lead weight 5.375 inches from the front of my Pinewood Derby car, I'm going to get a CG of 0.749. I'm going to round that up to 0.75 and call it a day. So that's a really successful design study. If I wanted to, I can view how my CG changes dynamically just by clicking on different scenarios here. Although all these other ones are all garbage. I'm going to stick with scenario 16 since it is in fact my optimal location. So again, what we've shown here is how I can use a design study to perform what would otherwise be a remedial or maybe even cumbersome task of just changing a mate over and over and over and over again. Next time, we're going to run this particular Pinewood Derby car down a ramp using a motion study tool to determine its maximum velocity to see if we have in fact created the best Pinewood Derby car in the world. Thanks for tuning in. 